Të dashëmish të EU Policy Hub, në vimësit e inisiativës son për prezentimin e projekteve të bashkimit e Europian në Shqipëri, sot kemi knajtsin të prezentojmë projektin Euralius 4, i cili jep kontributin e ti në konsolidimin e sistemi drejtsis në Shqipëri. Për këtë, sot kemi tëftuar zotin Inge Engstrom, drejtuas për bashkëpunimin në delegacionin e Europian. Thank you, Mr. Engstrom, for having us here. Could you briefly introduce us with the project Euralis 4? Of course, and, and um, it's a pleasure to talk to you and to be able to present what we are doing under, under this project. Uh, Euralius 4 uh, stands for Consolidation of the Justice System in Albania. Um, as you can hear from the name, it's a fourth mission uh, in this area, so we have supported the justice system for quite a number of years. Uh, the current project has become a bit special because it came to a start at the same time as the justice reform was, was um, um, uh, perceived by, by the ad hoc committee in the, in the parliament. So Giralius um, is supporting with capacity building, with training and with legal drafting the uh, judiciary system in, in Albania. So the Minister of Justice, the, the court systems, the magistrate, uh, school of magistrates and, uh, and the prosecution as well the, in, in its work in different areas of, of the legal system. Uh, but as mentioned, uh, this support right now um, undertaken by long-term and short-term experts, both from um, uh, member states of the European Union, and but also by, by Albanian citizens, uh, is, has been crucial for the legal drafting in particular of the justice reform that we has been seen, was adopted by the parliament this summer. Uh, how would you consider the progress uh, made from by Albania in fulfilling the five conditions uh, required by European Commission and the evaluation of the, pro the last progress report? Uh, the, the progress of Albania, uh, as you mentioned, is, is measured through the annual report by, by the European Commission. Uh, and this is a document that one can always refer to uh, in this sense. And it, it's built on two pillars. One is measuring the, the state of play in the accession process. And the, the other pillar is measuring the state of the progress. And uh, when it comes to the five key priorities of, for Albania, which was set to open negotiations, uh, the uh, assessment is that there is um, a steady progress, steps have been taken, but obviously there is still a lot to do. Um, but uh, but the, the, um, the Commission, as, as um, you probably are aware, uh, asked to open negotiations subject to the implementation of the justice reform, and in particular the, the vetting uh, law. Which was the support given by European delegation in the implementation of justice reform in Albania? Uh, well, we have supported in, in many different ways. The, uh, the support by, by uh, Euralius has been critical, uh, as the experts have been heavily involved in the, in the uh, legal drafting. Uh, but we are also supporting through uh, dialogue with, with the government, uh, with different parties and through also through participating to uh, dialogue and roundtables around uh, Albania. So this is support we have done so far. Uh, you're also talking about the, the, pro the support that will come. Yes. So what we, what we will do is that we, we will continue with uh, the support of the type of Geralius. Uh, the current mission is continuing until the end of next year. Uh, but after that, there will be a new um, assistance coming in through a new call for proposal as, as we do it. Uh, and this support is then um, supposedly help, will help in the implementation of the reform. We are also deploying uh, quite a significant so-called international monitoring uh, operation 
to um, assist in the uh, vetting process by Albania. So the, the vetting as such is to be done by uh, Albanian, Albanians, Albanian judges, prosecutors and, and experts, uh, but the international community, uh, the European Union and also the, the United States will assist by observing and uh, doing a, a technical work uh, of, of uh, assessing the work of the vetting. Uh, which are the challenges for the progression of justice uh, system after the approval of vetting? After the approval of the vetting, well, after the approval, the, the challenge is to start to do the vetting. Uh, so uh, that's, that's quite obvious. Uh, the, uh, there are, this is a real reform to start with. It's, it's a reform to uh, not only to improve efficiency and effectiveness in the justice system, but really to make sure that those that will still be working in the new structures uh, are the best possible uh, experts and people with uh, free of uh, corruption and, uh, and uh, conflict of interest. So get trust in the system, and uh, and this is crucial, and it's not crucial only for the justice system, but it's uh, crucial for all sectors of economy and for citizens of Albania. The inclusion of civil society is very important. Will this project provide support for civil society to monitor the implementation of justice reform? Civil society can play uh, different roles in the in the process. We we. Um, would ask and, and expect the government to have a dialogue with civil society for the implementation of uh, justice reform as they should have for any other reform that's going on. And that consultation can also be to ask the opinion from, from civil society. Uh, but probably more important for civil the role of civil society is to uh, monitor and to assess where, uh, if the justice reform is going further and to assess whether the vetting is, is um, giving the right results and come forward with, um, with um, the voice of the citizens. Uh, at the EU delegation we receive uh, daily letters from people that are, are not satisfied with the decision of the court system and we believe that civil society can help people to lift up the problems they have and to monitor what, what is going on in reality, to be the voice of this. Uh, yes, I think civil society sh needs to be the voice of citizens and, and to fight for um, a fair and trustworthy justice system of Albania. Mr. Engstrom, it was a pleasure to have this interview. Thank you for your insights and let's hope in further collaboration with EU Policy Hub. <laughs>